In the dead of night, a black Chevy Malibu emerges from a cornfield in rural Iowa. The driver hits the gas and the vehicle speeds off, leaving behind a decomposing body that would remain hidden until a month later. For the citizens of this peaceful Midwest town, where secrets were rare, weeks of turmoil had been set in motion, which would soon erupt into a nationwide manhunt. Prepare yourself for an immersive experience as we reveal the search for answers and the shocking revelations that came to light during this investigation. Welcome to Vice Confidential, where true crime stories come alive and keep you on the edge of your seat. Our story begins in the small town of Brooklyn, Iowa, the home of a bright and spirited young woman named Molly Tibbetts. She was just 20 years old and attended the University of Iowa, where she excelled in both track and cross country. But tragedy struck when Molly mysteriously vanished on the evening of July 18, 2018. It all happened after she left her home in Brooklyn for a jog, never to be seen again. The following day, when Molly didn't show up at the daycare where she worked over the summer, worry set in. People started talking, and the story took a dark turn. According to news reports, Molly was last spotted running near her boyfriend's house. She was there to watch over his dogs while he was away. This raised eyebrows and sent a wave of fear through the town, as her disappearance was anything but ordinary. The community came together, full of concerned citizens, volunteers, and law enforcement officials, all determined to find Molly and bring her back safely. News of her vanishing spread like wildfire, capturing the attention of not just the locals, but also people across the state and even the whole country. The urgency to uncover the truth intensified, and the town became a hotbed of activity. In the midst of this unsettling mystery, the people of Brooklyn were gripped by worry. Molly's sudden and unexplained disappearance cast a somber cloud over their once peaceful lives. It was a case that begged to be solved, a dark secret lurking in the shadows. The search for justice began as everyone yearned to unravel the truth and restore the calm that was shattered by this grim event. After weeks of relentless investigation, the case of Molly's disappearance finally saw a glimmer of hope. It was almost a month later when investigators stumbled upon a crucial breakthrough. A homeowner had surveillance footage that caught a glimpse of someone who appeared to be Molly, running in the distance. It was a fleeting moment, frozen in time, but it ignited a spark of anticipation. However, the chilling scene did not end there. As the footage played on, the screen revealed a sinister presence, a black Chevy Malibu, its mirrors and door handles gleaming silver, crept into the frame merely 20 seconds later. What followed was a disturbing display of repeated comings and goings. The car weaved in and out, like a vengeful spirit haunting the area, for the next 20 minutes. Before we continue, please take a moment to support our channel by liking this video, subscribing, and ringing the bell to receive notifications of our newest uploads that will make you think twice before going out on that jog. The town held its breath as the puzzle pieces began to fall into place. A new day dawned, and a vigilant sheriff's deputy recognized a familiar face behind the wheel of a similar vehicle. It was Christian Bahena Rivera, a laborer toiling away at a nearby dairy farm. Suspicions swirled around him like a storm cloud as he became entangled in the knot of this affair. Under scrutiny, Bahena told a tale that sent shivers down the spines of those who listened. He admitted to encountering Molly Tibbetts during her fateful jog, unable to resist the allure of her beauty. His eyes locked on her. He claimed to have turned his car around, driven by a desire to indulge his gaze further. But his words held a hollow ring, and the truth quickly came to light. With the weight of mounting evidence, the law closed its grip, and he was swiftly taken into custody. The news of the arrested man rattled the community to its core. The public of this small town was forced to confront the unsettling notion that evil had slithered into their midst. The pursuit of justice had begun, as they vowed to unearth every secret and expose what really happened behind Molly's abrupt disappearance. Not long after, Christian Bahena Rivera finally admitted his involvement in the encounter with Molly Tibbetts during her evening run. He confessed to approaching her and engaging in a heated altercation when she attempted to escape, even threatening to call the police. What followed in his disturbing account was a so-called blackout, as he claimed to have lost consciousness and only regained it while driving with Molly's lifeless body in the trunk of his car. Upon his confession, authorities were guided to a remote cornfield where a painful discovery awaited them. Hidden beneath the corn stalks, 
Molly's decomposed remains were found, confirming her identity and revealing a tragic end to her life. The subsequent autopsy confirmed the horrifying conclusion. Molly had suffered fatal injuries caused by a sharp object. Even more unsettling were the allegations of a possible sexual motive. When Molly's body was discovered, she was only dressed in socks and a sports bra, with her legs unnaturally positioned. These details suggested a violation that added another layer of darkness to an already unbelievable crime. The community was left reeling from the investigation. Grappling with the weight of this heinous act, the quest for justice continued as they sought to unravel the full extent of the horror that had befallen Molly Tibbetts. New revelations emerged during the trial, casting a blanket of uncertainty over the case of Molly Tibbetts' tragic fate. DNA tests uncovered a curious detail. Molly's blood was found in the trunk of the Malibu that the accused, Christian Bahena Rivera, had been driving. This evidence raised troubling questions, though the murder weapon itself remained elusive. However, when Rivera took the stand, tension filled the courtroom. In a surprising turn of events, he renounced his previous confessions and statements, presenting a completely different version of events. According to his new testimony, he claimed to have been abducted at gunpoint from his trailer home by two masked men. These mysterious figures, Rivera asserted, coerced him into driving while one of them committed the brutal act of taking Molly's life on a secluded country road. He further stated that the men then directed him to an isolated cornfield where he was forced to dispose of Molly's body. The courtroom fell silent, gripped by the astonishing narrative Rivera spun. Conflicting stories and doubts clouded the minds of those seeking justice. The search for the truth became a maze, twisting and turning through deceit and manipulation. As the trial passed on, the community yearned for clarity while being caught in the grips of uncertainty. Unraveling the enigma of Molly's fate became an arduous journey through the mind of a madman. During Rivera's trial, his defense team supported his theory about the involvement of two masked men. They suggested that one of them might have been Molly's boyfriend, Dalton Jack, who allegedly had an affair at the time. However, the police cleared Jack of any suspicion as they confirmed he was out of town for work when Molly went missing. Despite these claims, a jury delivered a verdict in May 2021. Rivera was found guilty of first-degree murder for the stabbing death of Molly Tibbetts. As a result, he received a life sentence in prison without the possibility of parole, sealing his fate behind bars forever. The case of Molly Tibbetts took on a political dimension, sparking debates over immigration policies. Some people who wanted stricter rules on illegal immigration pointed out that the suspect had entered the country unlawfully. However, studies have shown that undocumented immigrants are actually less likely to commit crimes compared to those born in the U.S. On the other side, liberals criticized the way Molly's murder was being used to spread fear and gain political advantage. Vice President Mike Pence addressed the case during a speech, pledging support from the government. President Donald Trump also made remarks, highlighting the suspect's immigration status and using the tragedy to call for changes in immigration and border laws. The Tibbetts family, mourning the loss of Molly, asked for privacy and expressed their disappointment at the politicization of her death. They rejected any racist interpretations and emphasized the shared values of their community. As this true crime story unfolded, it became entangled in political rhetoric, leaving Molly's family to navigate through the storm while staying true to their beliefs. In the aftermath of Molly Tibbetts' tragic passing, her loved ones found solace in honoring her memory and advocating for important causes. Molly's younger brother and his football team paid tribute to her by displaying her initials on their jerseys, uniting in grief and remembrance. The running community joined forces using the hashtag Miles for Molly, shedding light on the harassment and safety concerns faced by women who go for runs, inspired by Molly's own experience. Molly's friends, refusing to let her vibrant spirit fade away, also formed an online group called the Molly Movement. This virtual community gained attention on social media, spreading a message of kindness and empathy in honor of Molly. They encouraged people to treat one another with compassion, keeping Molly's spirit alive through acts of love and understanding. During her funeral, Molly's family chose to celebrate her life and selfless nature. They asked mourners to remember Molly's zest for life and her desire to help others. Instead of dwelling on sorrow, they shared a special moment, a recent wedding between Blake and Allie Jack, whom Molly was meant to be the maid of honor for. This reminder of joy and love served as a testament to the beautiful soul Molly possessed. In the face of tragedy, Molly's legacy continued to shine brightly. Through acts of unity, advocacy, and celebration, her memory lived on, 
inspiring others to cherish life, promote kindness, and make a positive impact in the world. Though her physical presence was lost, her spirit and the impact she made remained a powerful force in the lives of those who knew and loved her. That brings us to the end of this haunting true crime story surrounding Molly Tibbetts. Throughout our journey on Vice Confidential, we've uncovered the unsettling details that unfolded in the pursuit of justice. From Molly's mysterious disappearance to the shocking revelations during the trial, we have followed the twists and turns, captivated by the search for truth. While we now know the truth behind Molly's tragic fate and her assailant has faced the consequences, the impact of this violent case will forever remain. As we bid farewell to this chapter, let us remember Molly Tibbetts, a young life lost too soon, and may her story remind us to cherish and protect the ones we hold dear. Stay tuned to Vice Confidential for more intriguing stories that explore human nature and shed light on the mysteries that lie beneath. See you on the other side.